My God, my God, how did you go out? How did it go down? Why did you ever wear that crown? My God, my God, were you just a common criminal who earned a method of execution by which a person is hanged, usually by their arms from a cross or a similar structure until dead. My God, my God. The cross was used in many parts of the world and in many time periods. My God, my God. Your final persecution was a particularly cruel method of social control and punishment in the Roman Empire around 2,000 years ago. My God, my God. The actual cause of death by crucifixion varied somewhat with each case, but the two most prominent causes were, probably, shock and exhaustion, asphyxia. Other possible contributing factors included dehydration, stress-induced arrhythmia, and congestive heart failure. At three o'clock, one Friday, more than two millennia ago, he cried, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me, my God? My God, what does that mean? My God, my God, have you abandoned me, renounced me, forgotten me? My God, my God, did Jesus in his desperation, just like his disciples, doubt, deny, and defy? My God, my God, betrayed by a kiss? Now what about this? My God, my God, did God in human form feel the fullness of this scorn? Did God in Jesus born become to suffer in this storm, my God, my God. Did you really reckon with radical loss? Is that the meaning of the cross? Did you lose faith in us? Did you forget yourself? Did you feel forsaken, abandoned, denounced? My God, my God. Did you cry out to our cosmic Father from which all things come? Did you hear an answer at that moment when it was done? Did you become an atheist when your triumph turned treacherous? My God, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? My God, my God, what does that mean? Or did you just quote Psalm 22 like the scholars say? Like a blues man busting out the begged for cover song for the encore. My God, my God, were you just hanging there, just bleeding and a dying and then... To begin my message for this Good Friday, let me quote Psalm 22. My God, my God, doesn't that sound odd? Did you die a human death to save us from this wretched mess? Or did you pretend to die and ponder psalms on the fly? My God, my God, if you felt abandoned and empty in your atheist minute at the moment of your death, gasping last breath, does that make us more faithful or less? Are you... As pious, pompous, and pretentious as your followers, my God, my God, would you deprive, would we deprive you of your loss with a scholarly rationalization and a doctrinal justification? My God, my God, and even if you were just quoting a poem, a psalm, or a song, my God, my God, did that in any way blunt the blood of our sin that you wore in your skin? My God, my God. Friday ended with reality suspended. My God, my God, peace and joy upended. My God, my God, did Mary weep and want and wonder and watch darkness descending to the depth of Holy Saturday with Jesus dead, with Christ in hell, holy weekend, holy suffering, holy Saturday, holy shame. You took the blame. My God, my God, we have already always abandoned you, refused to follow you, made you an illegal alien, questioned the circumstances of your birth, mocked your parades and your protests, choosing today the commercial Caesar of our time. We exploit you, enslave you, avoid you. We ask you to save us and our savings account. We refuse the blood, but drink the wine. We eat the bread, but fire the baker because we don't want to pay for his baking insurance. We claim your name, but refuse to share in your shame. My God, my God, I wish I could promise I would follow you to torture, to the terror of the cross. I wish I could, but I would lie. I would lie. I know that we are part of the why that Christ denied is Christ crucified. My God, my God, tortured and taunted, the world is not ready for unconditional love. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? My God, my God, we were robbed of a revolutionary and a friend when he met his human end. My God, 
my God, how you sobbed. How you sobbed with every sinner, with every saint, with every insanity, with every nightmare, with every torturer, with every victim, with every angry father, with every angrier son, with every flower, with every tree, with every power, with every powerless, with every martyr, with every mother, with every war, with every warrior, with every boss, with every unemployed, with every heartbroken, with every lonely, with every lost, with every addict, with every alcoholic, with every schizophrenia, with every cancer survivor, with every person with AIDS, with every prisoner, and with every prison guard, with every child, with the wild, with every widow, we look out a window on a world sucked dark of light and life. My God, my God, why did you have to choose this story, so bloody, so gory? My God, my God, were you really one of us? My God, my God, did you really go there with us to the depths of depression, loneliness, doubt, anxiety, guilt, fear, shame, disorders, diseases, defects, perversions, aversions, murders? My God, my God, is that all? Was that your answer to the fall, to fall with us? My God, my God, are you the one? My God, my God, are you as radical and as willing as one who would take this killing for a selfish sinner like me? My God, my God, what does surrender look like if not this? Forsaken, forgotten. What does Jesus feel if not abandoned and denounced? We are all forsaken. My God, my God, we all die like lost, like the cross. My God, my God, why have you? When did you? Where are you? My God, my God, why have I forgotten you? My God, my God, why have you forgiven me?